this trick is going to give you more brightness for those HGIG games that are too dark. Take a look at this. You remember I show you that Master in Pick uh, was working? We also need to match the Master in Pick with the Max CLL. So take a look at this detail here. You can see uh, everything hopefully on that video but if we have this on auto you will see how the detail disappears so you cannot leave this max CLL on auto you have to match the master in peak in this case is 2000 so this is cyberpunk so you see now how the detail comes back I'm gonna go back and forth more than one time so you see it so this is cyberpunk what I'm doing on the game is I am maxing out the in-game brightness a slider so what happens in many games when we have a slider is that we have to reduce it to use HGIG and when we do that I'm switching back and forth so you see the difference so when we do that sometimes it shouldn't happen but sometimes the overall brightness of the image goes down and that's why people say Oh, HGIG is too dark, bro. I don't like it. Yeah, it's too dark. Sometimes. Because you are reducing that in-game slider. And basically doing that is the game doing the tone mapping. So HGIG means no tone mapping on the TV. So if the tone mapping on the game is messed up, <laughs> then that's why it looks uh, bad. It looks dark sometimes. So I'm going to show you how bright and also, okay, let me show you how to do this, uh, how to get here. Just step on select mode, one, 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 three, one, one, one. If you've never seen a video of, of mine uh, before. And the reason why I am doing this is because, again, I am maxing out the game a slider. And by doing that, let me show you here, the game is trying to output... 1921 nits so that's the max CLL okay so basically what I'm doing is I am I am matching that and let me show you the in-game settings and the TV settings so what I'm doing here is I am using the tone mapping midpoint 1.5 and the maximum luminous just max out and this is just the UI and on the TV, on this LG C1, this game has the black level of race, as is very common, unfortunately. So we have to come here, fine tune dark areas, minus 16, okay? And then uh, use dynamic tone mapping off. So these are the TV settings. To use this trick uh, with that secret menu, we use HDR tone mapping off. And the rest of the settings, as usual I'm gonna do a summary video soon for everyone that is new to the channel and just to summarize everything that I've learned so far I am waiting until I stop <laughs> discovering one thing every day once I stop discovering things about HDR then I'm gonna do a summary video but this is awesome man, because the game is looking just super bright like overall brightness of the image is it's uncomfortable like I'm here right now and this is <laughs> this is uncomfortable to watch and then when it gets dark during the night it is very very bright and yeah I'm getting like uh, over a hundred frames on the game just lowering the the game settings and using the LSS because you know I can't stand the sample and whole blur but it is very good the game is looking very good so let me show you I want to show you how bright uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider gets with this technique. So basically, this is something that we can use for many games. For example, I'm gonna show you here Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and this is huge because when I did my video about Shadow of the Tomb Raider, I said, "Man, use that. You have to use dynamic tone mapping because it's just too too dark. When you lower the in-game slider." It, it becomes too dark so you cannot play so by doing this you can max out the in-game slider and this game is the same when you max out 
that slider is 1500 nits in this case so unfortunately we don't have the 1500 nits option but 2000 is still okay it's okay it's gonna look fantastic so we're gonna use here fine tune dark areas minus five because the game has the black level raised but just a little bit so usually for every single game uh, we use fine tune dark areas minus 16 if that crushes blacks we try minus five and if that's still crushing well that's great you have a good <laughs> HDR game without the black level race but that's very uncommon very very rare to find that so let me show you here uh, this game it's looking wow it's looking so bright I mean this is looking so bright that dynamic tone mapping might be dimmer in some uh, examples let me change from uh, and by the way, dynamic tone mapping is also utilizing that uh, that mastering peak option. So you see here, <laughs> see here changing from dynamic tone mapping on to off. Well, actually, off is brighter. <laughs> off is brighter. So take a look at this. Take a look at this. On, off is brighter. It's even brighter. That's that's what I'm telling you. This is so bright. So in some cases, dynamic tone mapping on is gonna be brighter. But for example, if I look at a less uh, bright, uh, brighter image, this is gonna be brighter with dynamic tone mapping. Yeah, see, a lot brighter actually. So dynamic tone mapping is not accurate. It does whatever it wants to do. It also raises the black level, which I don't like at all. When you go to some uh, place that is supposed to be dark. It, it, it seems like there is extra light sources so that's not good with this option with off you are going to get a super bright image uh, when it is supposed to be bright and I, it is actually going to be brighter than dynamic tone mapping like in this example off wow super bright so that's what you're looking for this is this is the option and the game uh, you just max out the in-game slider and the game is trying to output uh, 1500 nits so another game where I tested this and it was actually working very well was in spider-man so spider-man by the way it was the same uh, Nixus the the company that did the port for the PC of Shadow of the Tomb Raider and and Batman Batman on spider-man was Nix Nixus so it's the same HDR slider. So on Spider-Man, when you max out the slider, is is also 1500 nits, and it increases the mid tones. So it looks brighter overall, and that's what people like. People think an HDR is supposed to be brighter, and it is. It is supposed to be brighter, but it's not brighter all the time everywhere. It's also about uh, darkness and shadow detail and those perfect blacks that we have with this uh, OLED TVs. So this looks fantastic here on the interior. The light sources are very bright and especially when we come here to the outside, it's, it's bright and it looks awesome. Man. This looks fantastic. Like I said, I was recommending dynamic tone mapping because when you reduce the slider to 800, HGIG is too dim. It's not bright enough. But now, by, my, by maxing out the slider, you see that it's actually brighter than dynamic tone mapping in some cases. So this is awesome. This is absolutely amazing. So every time you find a game that is too dark when you use HGIG, try this. Max out the in-game slider. Take a screenshot. So you have to take a screenshot because you need to know what that game is trying to do. Otherwise, you cannot set the correct mastering pick option. So you take a screenshot. For, so for example, Cyberpunk, the in-game slider says 1500. And it is not. It is not 1500. The game is trying to do 1921 nits. So you need to take a screenshot, open that with the HDR WCG image viewer app and then whatever you see here max CLL let's say it is 4000 nits so you select mastering pick 
4,000, max CLL, 4,000 on this secret menu, and you use dynamic tone mapping off, and it's going to look uh, probably it's gonna look brighter overall. So we shouldn't have to do this, okay? So for example, if I try, let's say, Forza Horizon 5, I don't have that problem. On Forza Horizon 5, you can lower the maximum peak brightness to 800, and it looks the the mid tones look uh, perfect. And actually, you have a slider to adjust the mid tones, okay? So you are you want to use HGIG always okay HGIG is the best option I am talking about games that you're, you you go and you use HGIG and it is not bright enough that's what I'm talking about so for those games try this <laughs> okay try this and it's gonna make a huge difference so for example I saw the God of War video from gaming tech and he said HGIG is, is a little bit too dark so he was recommending to adjust the in-game settings so maybe try this on God of War it supports the, uh, the the game supports the system level calibration try to max out that system level calibration that's going to be probably uh, 10,000 nits but I'm not sure take a screenshot so max out the system level calibration open the game take a screenshot Open that screenshot with the HDR WCG Image Viewer app on your PC. And that's not complicated. It's just take a screenshot on the PS5, open that on a gaming PC. I mean, it doesn't have to be a gaming PC. It can be any any PC. Just It does have to have Windows 11. And then you will see what is the maximum peak brightness that the game is trying to output. If it's 10,000 nits, then come here to this secret menu. 10,000 nits, 10,000 nits, and max CLL and max and mastering peak brightness, and use dynamic tone mapping off, and see if that is increasing the brightness for the mid tones. It might not, it might not, but try it, try it, and maybe that's a solution there too. I don't know how how the system level calibration works on the PS5. I know that on the PC, uh, it doesn't matter. If you raise the the maximum peak brightness over 1,000 for every single auto HDR supported games, the maximum peak brightness you're gonna get is 1,000 nits. It will never go. The max CLL will never go beyond 1,000. Uh, I don't know about these new games coming that have supposedly native HDR, but they are actually supporting the system level calibration like Gotham Knights. Uh, Tales, uh, Play Tale, uh, Requiem, Death Loop. I don't know if on those games, if you have a 1500 nits uh, capable display, I'm not sure if those games will try to push that brightness. They should, but for auto HDR supported games, they never. They always cap at 1000 nits. So I don't know if the PS5 has the same behavior. Maybe you max out that system level calibration, but God of War is gonna be max CLL 1000 and it will not go over that I don't know but maybe it will so test this yourself just take a screenshot open it you know what the game is trying to do so you can get the settings right okay and, and yeah let me know let me know if this helps uh, this is huge I mean I don't like dynamic tone mapping and I was using it on this game because it was too dim HGIG was too dim and cyberpunk especially is looking fantastic and I'm really enjoying the game so yeah let me know